Hi, welcome to Marie's Reading Corner, where I invite my friends to talk about our favorite books. Join us with a cup of tea as we talk about books, personal growth, and encounters with Jesus in our daily lives. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Marie's Reading Corner, and I am so excited to share this new book that came out a couple weeks ago or months ago at this point. I think it's months ago. It was written by one of my good friends from high school. So this guest of mine, I've actually known her for what, like 15 years at this point, which is insane to me because I don't feel like I'm that old, but to know someone for 15 years or so that's that's crazy but i'd like to welcome you to my dear friend and guest Fallon Matsudaira welcome hi oh my goodness thank you so much for having me no problem Faye honestly i can't remember the last time we talked like properly like this but, <laughs> yeah better late than never <laughs> exactly and i just got so excited when i saw you write a book and man, I, I don't, I just never thought you were the writer type, which actually surprised me. How did you get <laughs> into that? What, what ended up happening there? So I have always loved books. I've always loved reading. When I was a kid, I would have rather read than do pretty much anything else. Um, and then mm-hmm. that also kind of led into writing. So I was homeschooled growing up and my mom had us Yay, write a lot. Yay. <laughs> My mom had us do a lot of writing. And so I just, I think I got pretty good at it at a young age. And uh, whenever I was in college, I was studying to be an elementary teacher. And so I learned a lot of, a lot more about reading and literacy and especially focusing with kids and child development and stuff like that. And so I actually wrote my first book while I was in college. And wow, yeah, it was actually part of a project. So it was an assignment, but I'm a super big overachiever. And so I was like, I'm going to write the best (laughs) children's book ever. And I got a really good grade on it. So it all worked out. (laughs) Well, it got published. So you better get a good grade on it. It did. It's several years later, but it's here. It's published. It's out there. (laughs) Oh my gosh. That's so cool. So if you guys don't know who Fallon is, she is a third culture kid like me and her parents um, moved to Poland out of all places. Mm -hmm. And she was doing the online high school program just like me. I was in Egypt. She was in Poland. We've actually never met. So she knows Carissa, um, a friend of ours, a mutual friend of our sister who you've heard on this podcast. And that's so crazy. Like, Tell us a little bit about your third culture kid upbringing. I could talk about this forever. <laughs> it is such a huge part of who I am. And if, if you're a third culture kid, you understand. It's just never fully fitting in in one particular place, but having a huge heart and love for so many different places and people. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the many things that bonded us growing up, for sure. But uh, I am just... Yeah, I'm so grateful for the experiences I've had. So I lived in Poland for uh, almost 10 years, and now I've been living in the States for almost that same amount of time, but I still mm-hmm. I still feel very connected to Poland. And uh, mm-hmm. I my Polish is, like, starting to fade away, but uh, it's oh. just a big piece of me, and, uh, yeah, I love it, and I'm so grateful for just the experience to grow up in another culture, and it just – it really does change your worldview and – it changes really the way that you see the world and, and other people. So very, very grateful for those experiences as a kid. Yeah. I know one Polish word that I learned through Veggie Tales. <laughs> <laughs> you know, silly songs with Larry. Yes. Where he would, um, it was that, oh, I don't remember what song it was, but he says, Usta for lips. Usta. I think it's like the cold lip yes. song. Yes, you are exactly <laughs> like, right. If my lips ever left my mouth. <laughs> It's so funny. There are actually a few different Polish VeggieTales things. Like there is a song that is, uh, it's called the 12 Polish Dishes. And it's like, yeah, it's like a Chris, I don't know if it was Christmas or not, but it was, they did a bunch of different Polish foods and it was another one of those silly songs with Larry. But yeah, there may be, maybe there's someone like in that group that is Polish or something. They just sprinkle yeah, them in probably. the shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I've never heard of that song. Maybe it's like past my time, <laughs> past my elementary days. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That brings back a lot of yeah. memories. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was I was going to say something earlier about your Polish upbringing and being a third culture kid, but I can't remember. <laughs> it's probably along the lines where, um, yeah, that's one of the things that we bonded. Another thing we bonded on is Disney. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your job, Valid. <laughs> so I currently work for the Walt Disney Company. So I work for Woo! Shop Disney, which is our online merchandise department. So um, I get to do a lot of work directly with our guests. And it's it's very, very fun. <laughs> it's very fun and can be a little challenging at the same time. But I just... I absolutely love making magic, and it's mm -hmm. been a big dream of mine for a long time to be a part of this company, mm -hmm. and so I'm just very, very grateful for the opportunity to be here, and I just, I love Mickey, and it's so fun that my boss is a mouse. It's just, I mean, how many people get to say that? But yes, I've been a big Disney fan for a long time, and that's another thing that honestly got me into writing, so it was, you know, my passion for storytelling and character development, so yeah, Disney has had a huge impact on my life, and we used to talk about Disney all the time. I think we were I like, know. you were like Princess Marie or something. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually my genuine nickname in high school. Like, that was not something yep. I came up with. And people called me Princess Marie, which was so odd. I think it was because I wrote fairy tales. Do you remember? Yes, like, you did. I had, like, this um, group of friends where I would post a chapter per week, and I actually completed a whole novel of those stories um, of just, like, this princess. It was just really – now coming – I should really look for that manuscript. That's actually quite inter that interesting That would be a really though. fun thing to go back and read. Because I know that we were all kind of incorporated in it in some way. Yeah, so yeah. It would be oh, fun I can't to read remember that. what your character was, but you were in the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. speaking of books, tell us a little bit about the book that you wrote. It's Spooky the Scaredy Cat, right? Yes. So, I, like I mentioned before, I wrote wrote this book whenever I was in college. And at the time, my professors really liked it and wanted me to publish it. But I was in college, I had a lot going on publishing a book was so far outside yeah, yeah. of my frame of mind. And actually, right after that, I actually went to move to Florida and worked at Disney in Florida for a while. So my head was like not in the space of publishing <laughs> a book. But, uh, but yeah, so I wrote it about a little black cat, and her name is Spooky, based on a real-life cat. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, coming from growing up loving Disney and the character development, I really wanted to create something that would impact people in a positive mm. way and impact kids and encourage kids, uh, you know, just promoting, like, a, a positive value. And so... Mm -hmm. Uh, bravery is a big theme in my book, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to spoil the ending, but <laughs> as you can guess from the title, Spooky is scared, and she is scared of her shadow. And so in the book, Spooky tries a lot of different things to try to scare her shadow away, basically, <laughs> and uh, try, trying to kind of avoid, avoid life's problems, if you will. And so... Uh, yeah, so it's a really cool story, and she has a really awesome character development portion in it. And uh, I actually did I did the illustrations whenever I was in college as well. But wow, yeah. But let me tell you, don't say wow. They were oh, <laughs> they oh were, I, you got... I mean, they were okay, like uh -huh. <laughs> not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I I love to write, but I don't really have the artist, you know. Not, mm. don't have that gift. Uh, so I worked alongside a phenomenal girl who was my illustrator and I went to college with her as well. And she kind of took my original artwork and then made it a lot better. <laughs> Gave oh, spooky okay. a major upgrade. So it still has, you know, my artwork kind of as the base. And then she just created, you know, a little bit more spice to it and made, made, made yeah. it look book worthy, <laughs> publishing worthy. So, yeah, so she's a very cute little cat, and I I just, I love her so much, and I just see so much of myself in her, and I just, yeah, I'm, I really hope that the kids that have read it so far and the ones that continue to read it will um, just enjoy it and learn from it. 
Yeah. I mean, I think I remember your inspiration. I think I saw something on Facebook where you talked about the inspiration behind um, uh, Spooky, the scaredy cat. I think it was after you watched Zootopia. I can, yes. I, I'm i so, like, shocked that you remembered that. But yes, that is true. <laughs> hey, I care about my friends, okay? I don't come into a podcast being like, I know nothing about this person. It's true. So I... I remember being in the movie theater, and I'm sure you've had this experience with movies or Disney movies, and after the movie is over, just feeling so overwhelmed and like, wow, that was so impactful. And Mm -hmm. for some reason, Zootopia was it for me, and I just, I knew at that moment, I want to create characters that are like Judy Hopps, because I just Mm -hmm. admired her courage and her, just her passion and her work ethic, and Mm -hmm. it just inspired me so much as an, as a young adult that I wanted to create something like that. So yes, that is kind of where Spooky was born amidst, you know, college and classes and all of that. It, it happened. But yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I, I definitely can relate to the whole watching a Disney movie and being inspired. For me, it was Tangled. Mm-hmm. And I think that's partially the reason why I went into mental health and, you know, to grad school classes and mental health was because, you know, she was living her whole life in a castle with her mother who was basically spreading lies. And then all this time she was actually a princess and, you know, our identity in Christ and all that stuff ties into that. And so I just cry all the time when I watch Tangled um, because it's like, you know, the enemy has kept us in bondage for Mm -hmm. so long only to be like, you know, God loves us and God, you know, um, you know, has this amazing life for us, like way beyond than anything we could ever imagine. And actually, I'm watching um, Tangled, the animated series where she kind of lives her life in the castle Aww. and like the struggles that she faced, which I am more interested in. Um, of course, the, the movie is amazing, but I think I really like her character growth even more there. Wow. Okay. Learning how to make decisions. You should watch it. <laughs> I need to. Apparently, it sounds great. Yeah. So anyways, like I went down a very um, sharp turn from your <laughs> book but yeah this is guys this is what we do in high school I kid you not like Faye and I would talk about Disney related things and her love for the Jonas Brothers she actually got me into the Jonas Brothers because I wasn't a big fan at that time <laughs> and she would play love bug for me when we would call I did or like did whatever new song that she would learn on her guitar and it was the best like that's how we bought it I would just sit there and listen <laughs> it's like Yeah, but it's, I know your friendship has always been really encouraging to me because you, I mean, you have been writing even longer than I have. And I just always remember admiring your ability to storytell just phenomenally. And I mean, that's what life's about, right? You know, inspiring Mm -hmm. others and using your gifts and talents to encourage others. So uh, yeah, I just, I mean, who knows, this book may not have even been written without you. Aww. <laughs> um, Aww. So yeah, just such a <laughs> great all emotional over here. <laughs> Thanks, Faye. That really means a lot. Oh. You know, if anything, um, I don't know, I'll probably reveal a secret project that I've been doing um, through this podcast sometime in the future. But um, but for now, I will say I'm just so inspired that, you know, that just me being myself was um, what took you to, you know, write this book and things and whether that be a small influence or a big one um, I'm just thankful that you acknowledge that and (laughs) 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 yeah anyways um is there anything that you would want somebody to take away from the book after they read the book what's something um you know we you said that a common theme is fear and all that and without spoiling the book um yeah what would you want people to take out of it Yeah, so that's a great question. I think one big thing for me is we all have it in us, right? Like we have the ability to be brave and be courageous. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of recognizing that and Mm -hmm. acting it out and choosing to be brave instead of fearful. So I think, you know, that is a big theme of the book. But also Mm -hmm. it's... I don't know. I think there's something special too about like going on this journey and, you know, Spooky is really scared at the beginning of the book and it's a journey for her to find her bravery. So I think it's also good 
for kids and just anyone who reads the book to understand, you know, it's a process and mm. you're not just going to always be brave. There are going to be things in life that scare you no matter how old you are. Yeah. And it's mm. all about, you know, discovering that bravery and learning how to be brave and living it out. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a work in progress, just like anything yeah. in life. It's, it takes for a lot sure. of work and, um, yeah, but so I, I guess that's probably really the biggest thing is just learning to be brave and it's about the journey. And uh, yeah, I mean, I could talk about Spooky all day, but she, <laughs> she also is very cute. And so hopefully kids will just like her because she's cute, too. Every, she you know, all kids cute. love cats. And that was another big thing is I wanted to create a story around an animal because they're just so lovable. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, it has a deeper meaning to it too, but yeah, she is very cute. it has so, <laughs> such a deep meaning that Faye's brother actually wrote a whole essay on <laughs> Spooky the Scaredy Cat. What I are you going to do in a pandemic? Yeah, exactly. People who have time on their hands. But I remember she showed it on Instagram where she just flipped through the pages of the um, (laughs) essay that he wrote. And it was hilarious. But at the same time, I could totally see that happening. You know, lit majors were, you know, told to diagnose a poem, which is or a haiku, which is like, what, like three, four lines? Like how much more book? So I I could totally see it. Well, you know, it's, it's really made me so thankful, too. I at the beginning of last year, you know, the beginning of 2020, everyone was kind of like, this is our year, you know, great things will happen. And then it just slowly plummeted. But honestly, for me personally, this book wouldn't have existed because I, I mean, the the book existed, but I wouldn't have actually gotten it published and taken the time and effort to really mold it and shape it into what I wanted. Because I decided midway through the year that I was going to quit my job and pursue a career with Disney. And so I had, Mm. you know, a lot of in between time and I just, Mm. I get restless. And so I picked up the book and I was like, (laughs) you know what? It's time to do this. So I'm really grateful for the ability and the time to create it. And, uh, you know, so in a way there have been some really good things that have come out of last year and the book is one of them. So... Yeah, for sure. I'm really glad you put that out there because kids need to know that, you know, bravery and all that stuff, it's so hard to um, put it into words sometimes, but you did such a good job of putting it all that, putting all those themes and things like that together because I think, you know, kids need to know, especially in this day and age where there's so much uncertainty, um, at least when we were kids, I feel like, you know, we would come home, eat lunch, you know, like, <laughs> or, or like do school or like go out and then, you know, all is well with the world, right? Right. But like these kids are growing up with Zoom school and like COVID and trying to understand why they can't go out and the dangers of that. And so um, it's always good to spread hope in the world through what we do, right? And so with that said, Faye, where can our audience get your book? Well, she, I always say she, it's because I just think it's spooky, <laughs> but she is on Amazon.com. So you can order a an actual physical copy of her or she's also available on Kindle. So uh, she is on Amazon.com. You can just search for Spooky the Scaredy Cat and she should be the first one that pops up. But the cover is a actually a picture of an orange chair and then Spooky's kind of poking her head out from behind it. So um, yeah, so it's on Amazon. And then I also have a, a Facebook page too, uh, where you could, if you like her, you could let me know on there. And if you mm-hmm. would leave an Amazon review, that would be amazing. So um, but yes, thanks. <laughs> awesome. Do you have any shout outs? Anything that you want to tell our audience about anything you're working on? You know, I have like a million different projects that I'm working on at one time. And I'm really, really bad about starting projects and not finishing them. Uh, But so that's one of the reasons I'm just so grateful that this book actually worked out because it's a completed project. But I hope to continue writing, uh, especially children's books. I just think it's so fun. And you just have the ability to make a lot of change and impact in kids lives. So Mm. Hopefully I'll create more books in the future, but for now it's just me and Spooky and um, I'm excited for everyone to get to read her. Aw, yeah, everyone. Go and check her out. You heard Fallon say that it's in Amazon.com. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add? Any people you want to thank? Um, Shout outs? 
Yeah, I mean, well, thank you so much, first of all, for having me on your podcast. It's just such a such a joy and what a great connection. I mean, we met on this online school platform and here we are, however many years later, 12 years later, talking about books (laughs) and Disney. And people, you guys, we've never met in real life. Never. (laughs) Just letting you. We've tried. We've definitely tried, but it just didn't work out. But, you know, it's the beauty of technology because I feel like I have been with you in person. You know, like I don't feel it like we're that far away. So even though we're on yeah. opposite ends of the world, but but yeah, so thank you so much for just believing in me and for encouraging me and having me on your podcast. And um, thank you to anyone who reads my book and anyone who shares it with someone else. That's That means the world to me. I'm very, very thankful for that. Aw, thanks, Faye. We'd love to have you on again. If you have a new project, a new book, I'd love to have you over again to talk about that. But for now, everybody, go get your copy of Spooky the Scaredy Cat on Amazon.com, both paperback and Kindle. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.